<laughs> Hello internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to create a PayPal sandbox account for WooCommerce. So you can test your orders and at the end of the video I'll show you where you can find the test credit cards as well. Okay, head to Google and type PayPal developer and then pick the first option here and now it will ask you to log in but I've already logged in that's why it shows me this page. Uh, and here, let's go and hover over the name and let's click on dashboard. You need to have a PayPal account to actually test the PayPal developer, but you can set it up easily. Just set up the account if you don't have one. Here, we need to start by going testing tools and sandbox accounts. Here, if you scroll down, you should see these uh, default options already. It should create them for you automatically. If you don't have them, then you can create account from here. You'll need to create one personal and one business account. Doesn't matter what country you choose, just choose something that represents your customers. Since I already have those default ones and uh, PayPal created them for me, I'm gonna keep them as is because I can just grab the details from these. Now we need to go to WordPress and I'm in the dashboard. What we can have to do is go to WooCommerce and then inside settings. In the settings, let's go to the payments tab And here, let's scroll down to the bottom when we see PayPal and here you can click on manage or set up. Now that I already have a PayPal, this is the live account. I need to switch to this tab connection. Okay. You see, I already have some details here, but all we need to do is click on this one. You have sandbox and then the checkbox. Let's click on it. And for some reason, for me, this test payment with PayPal Sandbox, so this automatic uh, setup doesn't really work. That's why I'm going to show you how to do it manually. You can try it. It uh, should work uh, flawlessly, but for me, it just doesn't. And here we need all of this information. And now we can get it from the Sandbox account, right? So I'll keep this page open, but I'm going to hover over this and right click on it and open in a new tab because we're going we're gonna to need some credentials. So first of all, it's asking for the sandbox email address. Okay, that's easy. I'll go to this one and here where it says business, you can see type business. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to here, I'm going to paste it in and go back. And if you uh, click on these three dots, open and edit this account, we need this account ID. So it's asking for merchant ID, but we actually need this account ID. I'm going to place it in here. So merchant ID and account ID is the same thing. And then we need the sandbox client ID and secret key. For that, we've opened a new tab, which is here under apps and credentials. And you notice you have default application. It should create it by, um, by default. So let's click on it. And now here we need to grab this client ID. I'm going to copy it. Go back to WooCommerce, place it where the client ID is, and again, going back. And now we need to grab the secret. So don't share the secret with anybody. You see mine now here, but I already blurred it out. Let me grab it again, paste it in here, and now save changes. Now it connected to your sandbox. And if you don't see any errors here, you see here, there's no errors. That means it connected successfully. Now we want to test that this works. Okay, I'm on my billing page and if I already fill in all the details and I've selected PayPal, let's pay with PayPal and it opens up the pop up. And now you can see it's sandbox. That's great. I'm not going to use that email address. Instead, I'm going to the sandbox accounts. And now you see where the personal is. I'm going to click on the view edit account. And now we can get the details. So email ID, I'm going to grab that. placed here and now it's asking for password and you can get it here as well so you see here this password i'm going to grab it back to the paypal and then i can fill it in there and click on login oh my god so many pop-ups <laughs> let me close them and here you see it's in dutch because my account is in dutch so uh, you see that you can pay for this you could also choose some other uh, credit cards but these are all um, they're not real. This is not something I already entered. They are just for testing. So let me click and finish this payment. 
Okay, not sure why this page is showing up. Um, it's showing me an error. I think it's something with my uh, my WooCommerce setup, but you can see that I have uh, order here. I've just ordered it. It was the 12, uh, 12 dollar order and it went through. So this is how you can test your WooCommerce setup. And in case you wanna test through PayPal credit cards, all you have to do is go into the sandbox again. So let's close this one. And here, if you go to tools, you have this credit card generator and you can choose what type of uh, credit card you want. Let's say MasterCard, yes, US, you're gonna generate the credit card. And now you can use this, these details to pay for the order as if you are using a credit card, but inside PayPal. When the pop-up appears, you have an uh, option to also uh, choose the credit card. So this is where you would use it. Now that you know how to test payments, but without a great looking design, you will be perceived as less trustworthy. That's why you should watch this video next to get inspiration from four amazing looking e-commerce websites.